Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade seven, unit five, lesson two lesson is on changing temperatures. In our warm up today, our goal today is to use number lines to add positive and negative numbers. And as we look at our warm up, we have a bunch of number lines with arrows, and we're going to see which ones don't belong. Well, Again, with these, you could come up with a reason why each one doesn't belong. For example, in question one, each of the arrows are pointing to the right. Versus number four, where each of the arrows is pointing to the left. Now we get to two and three, and you have one arrow going left, one arrow going right. But in this one, they're opposite but the same length. Whereas two, they're opposite, but now they're different lengths. When I say opposite, I meant opposite directions here. So, Let's look at question two. Now, if we look for the images for launch here, we could write this question on the number line as 40 plus 10 is equal to 50. As you can see, this number line represents a positive 40 going from zero up to 40. And then we're adding 10 more here to get to 50. So 40 plus 10 is equal to 50. Now, as we look at these task statements, complete the table and draw a number line diagram for each situation. In A, we have, we're starting at 40 degrees and we're getting 10 degrees warmer. And so that gets us to 50. Well, we just kind of did that, did we not? But let's do it again. We're going to start at zero and increase 40 degrees. Then we're going to increase 10 to get 10 degrees warmer. And that ends up at 50. What about B? Starting at 40 and getting five degrees colder. Well, we're starting at 40, and then we're getting five degrees colder. We're going back five, and we're going to end up at 35. And so our answer is 35. And our addition equation here, an addition equation here, is 40 plus getting five degrees colder is represented by a negative five. So 40 plus negative 5 is equal to a positive 35. Starting at 40 and getting 30 degrees colder. Well, we're going now up to 40 and getting 30 degrees colder is going to end us up at 10. So 40 plus negative 30 is equal to 10. So our answer is 10. And again, this was a positive 35 and a positive 10 so far for our solutions. Next, if we're starting at 40 and getting or 40 degrees colder, that's going to be 40 plus negative 40. Now, what is that going to equal? Well, we're going 240 and then coming back 40, which is going to end us up at zero. And zero is neither positive nor negative, so we're just going to write that as zero. Now the key, starting at 40 and getting 50 degrees colder, 40 plus negative 50. 
Well, on our number line, we're going 240. And then to go backwards 40, we ended up at zero. We had to go backwards another 10 to get to going backwards 50 total. And where did we end up here? But at negative 10. So 40 plus negative 50 is negative 10. And that's the first question. Now, there's more. Question two, complete the table and draw a number line diagram for each situation. Now, instead of starting at a positive 40, we're starting at negative 20. And so we're going to be at negative 20 and getting 30 degrees warmer, we're adding 30. And what will that equal? Well, let's go back to negative 20 and adding 30, let's see, that would be adding 20 and then 10 more gets us to a positive 10. What about if we start at negative 20? We're getting 35 degrees warmer. Where are we going to end up? Well, back to negative 20. Back to zero gets us 20, 25, 30, 35. We're at 15. So a positive 15 is our answer. Now, what about starting at negative 20, but only going warmer by 15 degrees? Going to negative 20 and getting warmer by 15. Well, if we just count these, 5, 10, 15, that ends up at negative 5. So negative 20 plus 15 is negative 5. And lastly, we have negative 20 and getting 15 degrees colder. Well, negative 20 plus negative 15 is what we're looking for. Let's go back to negative 20. Now, when we add 15, we went to the right. If we're getting colder, we're going to the left. So we're getting 15 degrees colder. 5, 10, 15 gets us to negative 35. So negative 20 plus negative 15 is negative 35. Let's continue on with this lesson. Now, as I'm recording this today in Ohio, it happens to be one of our coldest December days so far this year. I think it was about 12 degrees this morning, Fahrenheit, that is. But one winter day, the temperature in Houston is 8 degrees Celsius. Pretty cold for Texas. Find the temperature in these other cities. Explain or show your reasoning. In Orlando, it is 10 degrees warmer than it is in Houston. Well, for number one, that's going to simply be 8 degrees degrees Celsius for Houston plus the 10 degrees Celsius that it's 10 degrees warmer is going to result in a sum of 18 degrees Celsius. Don't really need to draw a number line there, but you could if you wanted. What about we're at eight degrees for Houston. We're getting eight degrees colder. So we're going eight plus negative eight. And what is that going to equal? Well, in any of these questions, you could sketch out a number line. And if we're starting at zero and going to eight, that's the zero plus eight. If I add a negative eight, I'm going back to the left now. And that's going to result in a sum of zero. So zero degrees Celsius. In Minneapolis, it is 20 degrees colder than it is in Houston. Well, that's pretty cold. But if we're at zero and eight, our question here is eight plus negative 20 equals what? Well, here we're starting off at eight, but now we're going to have to go backwards, right? We have to go backwards. We're going to go past zero. We're going backwards a total of 20. 
And so we know eight of it is filled right here. How do we get to 20? Well, it's another 12. So I'm going to be at negative 12. And whether you count all those or logic your way through it, uh, you're going to be at negative 12 degrees Celsius here. Number lines can help to solve these. Now, in Fairbanks, it is 10 degrees colder than it is in Minneapolis. Be careful to read that question. We have Minneapolis, which was negative 12 degrees, plus 12 degrees colder, so negative 10, equals what? One question four. Now, Fairbanks, for those of you who um, need a quick geography here, that's in Alaska. Now, we're at negative 12 with Minneapolis, and now we're going to get 10 degrees colder, which is going to result in negative 22. So now we're at negative 22 degrees Celsius for Fairbanks. Question five says, write an addition equation that represents the relationship between the temperature in Houston and the temperature in Fairbanks. Houston, we have a problem. No, Houston is at eight degrees. And now we're going to add something to that to get to the Fairbanks temperature, which was negative 22 degrees. Well, eight plus what is negative 22 is essentially what that question is asking us to do. If we were to look at a number line here, If I'm at 8 degrees, how far backwards do I have to go to get to negative 22? Well, I know it's backwards 8 to get to 0. How much more? Well, backwards another 22. How far did I travel? 30. So 8 plus negative 30 is negative 22. All right. Now, we're acting a little slow here. We get to our cool down for this lesson. Write a story about temperatures that this expression could represent 27 plus negative 11. We can say um, when, that's a terrible W there. Let's see, can I fix that? Let's try this again. Take two without re recording though. When Mr. Richards went to bed, the temperature was 27 degrees Fahrenheit when he woke up it was 11 degrees Fahrenheit colder, what was the temperature when he woke? I don't know why woke is being written as work. <laughs> woke up. There we go with a question mark, because it's a question, of course. That's one. Two, draw a number line diagram and write an expression to represent this situation. On Tuesday at lunchtime, it was 29 degrees Celsius. By sunset, this temperature had dropped to 16 degrees. All right. Well, let's draw ourselves a number line. Zero. 29, and uh, let's put 16 right around here. Our number line diagram, we're at 29 degrees to start from 0 to 29, and then we're going back to 16. Now, for our expression, we're at 29, 
plus what is equal to 16? Well, how do I go from 29 to 16? If you take 29 minus 16, you would get 13. So we're really adding a negative 13 here to get to that 16. So our expression uh, could be something along the lines of what I wrote down there, 29 plus negative 13, or just uh, 29 plus negative 13. So you could write this, um, it said an expression, so technically it shouldn't have an equal sign, but um, you know, it, it, technically you wouldn't have an equal sign if it says expression in your question. All right, that is it for this lesson, which was grade seven, unit five, lesson two on changing temperatures, learning how to add integers. Good luck.